This is Carl Zimmer's book, Microcosm, and this is Ed Yong's book, I Contain Multitudes. Both books are about microbes, and that makes me wonder, which of these books has more microbes on it? I think we can figure that out. First, we're going to need plates to grow bacteria on. To make these plates, you start by cooking up a little broth made of agar, sugar, water, and stock. You can buy agar online or in Asian grocery stores. The recipe I used recommended beef stock cubes, but I used veggie stock that was already in my cupboard. It worked, but I ended up with green bits in my plates. Now you boil your broth. Not too long, you just want to make sure everything is dissolved and that there are no chunks left. Then carefully pour a little bit of the mixture into a plastic sterile Petri dish. Just enough so that it spreads to cover the whole dish. Now, if we were in a lab, you would leave this dish open to dry inside a sterile flow hood. But I don't have that at home, so I just close the dish. This creates a lot of condensation, but for this experiment it was more important to me that the plates were sterile and then I didn't care that much that there were also water droplets on it. Wait for the plates to dry and cool down, and then it's time to swab the books. I used regular cotton swabs to touch the bottom of the book and the cover, and then I transferred that to the plates, closed them, turned them upside down, and left them sitting for a few days in my living room. Confession time. I filmed this video way back in 2016, and I know I did control plates, and on these control plates I used just the cotton swabs that didn't touch any books, but I can't find that footage. Um, if I remember correctly, there was not a lot going on with just the cotton swabs though. But here are the results of the two books. Microcosm had more growth on the plate and more different colors and structures. Some of these are bacteria and some I think are fungi. But basically, there were more microbes on my copy of Microcosm than on my copy of I Contain Multitudes. And that was pretty much what I expected for two reasons. When I filmed this, I'd only had my copy of I Contain Multitudes for a few weeks and I hadn't read it yet. I'd had Microcosm for years and I finished reading it, I took it with me a few times when I moved house. This means that I had touched Microcosm much more often than I Contain Multitudes, especially at the bottom of the book where I swabbed. Also, while both books are hardbacks, the paper used for Microcosm has these jagged porous edges that are just perfect for all kinds of little creatures to grow in. So, more touching, plus more interesting surface area for things to grow, means more microbes on microcosm. But my copy of I Contain Multitudes, despite not having been touched as much at the time, was one that I picked up at a book launch event, and I got it signed by Ed Young, which means that some of the microbes on my copy of I Contain Multitudes may well have been Ed Young's microbes.